Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today we are finally going to take a look at some DDR4 memory. DDR3 wasn't really worth it to review, since it got very affordable after a while and so everyone just bought a random kit and that's it. No need to actually watch reviews online to make sure you're buying a good product. But with DDR4 at the time of this video, that's a whole different story. The prices are very high actually. Right now, at the time of this video, only Intel's Haswell eCPUs of the Extreme lineup can make use of it, but apparently Intel should launch a new lineup of mainstream CPUs that should support DDR4. This could bring the prices down a bit, but I doubt we'll get to see the phenomenon as with DDR3 a second time. So today I'm going to take a look at the King Max Nano Gaming 16GB DDR4 3200 memory. As you can see, you can get the same kit with 2666 MHz to all the way up to 3400 MHz with a max kit capacity of 32 gigabytes. King Max has sent me the 4x4GB kit, which means 4 4GB modules that are 16GB. That's some high quality overclocking RAM, without any heat sinks though. You'll find out why a little bit later. Unfortunately, I have no idea how much this kit actually costs. I'm assuming it costs a little less than most other DDR4 RAM in the market, but I simply don't know. Therefore, I'll only be able to test the performance, but not the price performance ratio. Thank you very much King Max for sending me this interesting RAM kit to review. Alright, in the packaging are the 4 RAM modules and that's about all. So what about the specs? First of all, this is DDR4 memory with a very high frequency of 3200 MHz. Just so you know, DDR4-2133 pretty much is like 1333 MHz with DDR3. So 3200 MHz truly stands for high performance. King Max has sent me the 16GB version of their nano gaming RAM, to be exact, 4x4GB modules. The cast latency of my specific kit is CL16, which is not too bad for this high clock speed. As for voltage, it's 1.2 or 1.35 volts. XMP 2.0 is fully supported of course, so you can easily set up the RAM and the BIOS without dialing in the values manually. 1.35 volts are needed for 3200 MHz, 1.2 for the lower XMP profile. According to King Max, the bandwidth of this kit is at 25.6 GB per second, and as for the data rate, it's obviously 3200 mega transfers per second. In terms of aesthetics, really not bad looking. Actually, these modules look very beautiful when considering the fact that they have no heatsink. The PCB has a beautiful matte black finish to it, and the traditional greenish Cyan King Max color on the chips makes this simple looking module quite eye catchy. As you can see, as it says on the sticker here, it's a 4GB module. These are the 8 512MB chips. And on the other side, there are no chips at all. You'd see 8 more chips on this side if you owned the 2x8GB version 16GB kit. By the way, King Max backs their nano gaming RAM up with a 5 year long warranty, which is plenty. Although there are RAM kits out there with a lifetime warranty, I don't see why you'd need it. 5 years is long and good enough. But how the hell does King Max cool their RAM with such a high frequency of 3200 MHz without any heatsink? Well, the answer to that is they use their awesome nanothermal dissipation technology, for short, NTDT. Basically, they use DLC and silicon to achieve better heat dissipation. DLC and silicon are highly heat conductive materials, and according to King Max, this should keep the memory modules running 10% cooler than with traditional heatsinks on RAM. This means you could even overclock these modules without worrying about the chips overheating, but still, RAM overclocking takes a long time until the frequency and timings are tight and in the end you won't see much of an improvement in most applications and especially in games. So I wouldn't recommend RAM overclocking, too much of a hassle. But now let's get to the interesting part, the performance. Unfortunately I couldn't test this DDR4 RAM with my own system, since I simply don't own a platform that supports DDR4 yet. Big thanks to Aurelius for letting me use his i7-5960X system at the importer's building to run through some quick tests. Still it wasn't my system, therefore I unfortunately couldn't do as many tests as I wanted to, but here they are.
right, when it comes to benchmarking memory, often there's not much of a performance difference noticeable. Unfortunately, I didn't really have any other DDR4 kit to compare this Kingmax Nano Gaming RAM with, other than the G-Skill Ripjaws 4 2400 MHz kit. When it comes to games, there's not much of a difference, only one FPS more with the Kingmax 3200 MHz memory at max. When it comes to rendering though, differences are noticeable, but that's also depending on the application. Overall, the Kingmax Nano Gaming RAM performed very well. I had no problem setting it up, everything runs perfectly stable, it looks good in the system, even though the modules have no heat sinks, and yeah, no sign of overheating, even when running a stress test with the full 16GB in use. Looks like the nanothermal dissipation technology really works. And well, what else can I say here? Kingmax simply shows us with their nano gaming RAM, we don't necessarily need bulky heatsinks to keep the module temperatures low at high frequencies. That's achievable with the use of high quality materials. Unfortunately, I know nothing about the pricing of this kit, therefore I can say absolutely nothing about about its price performance ratio. I can only judge the raw performance and can say this RAM is meant for enthusiasts. With that said, I can definitely recommend the Kingmax Nano Gaming 16GB DDR4 3200 memory at least when judging raw performance and design. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.